Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Shaman King episode number 18. Okay, the previous episode, um, a new group came up. They are the ex-laws and they think that they are on the justice side, but their justice is basically like, uh, like you know, like whatever How is doing and whatever people who follow How is doing are wrong, be it like, you know, anything. Like anything, if there's something even remotely related to how they're going to go and hunt them down. That's basically their justice. So it's kind of messed up in a way, even though how is a bad person in himself, in a way, you know, like the things that he's doing is bad. That obviously does not mean that anyone like associated with him and anyone and everyone associated with him is bad. Obviously, like it's like it's weird their sense of justice is really weird which i cannot i probably should not like you know uh blame them about this because i'm sure they have had their own past their own uh hard past you know like they themselves said i think one of the uh, one or two members i think they like it implied that they have had their um you know like their loved ones taken away from them because of how like you know how killed them or something and like you know all these things this kind of made them twist the judgment into their own and they are like you know acting like this acting as if they are the law now so this whole thing and they are pretty strong you know like they are so strong that even house minions were kind of uh like, you know scared by the end of it and they like you know they they ran away and like yeah that was basically it so and obviously yo is not going to be content with this he is not going to be able to uh, digest the sense of justice that the exhaust x laws have so obviously they won't be friends so i'm guessing like you know like uh, uh, uh yo and the x laws like they are also going to clash now and then and obviously how is there as well like they, they are going to clash in that direction as well so it's like a triangle you know like <laughs> like everyone is everyone's enemies like something like this so yeah and uh, that was that and also uh, in the end we see a little glimpse of anna coming uh, to the village to the patch village and how is waiting for her i don't know what they're going to what conversation they're going to have but let's check it out let's see what this episode brings so without further ado let's get started so this is episode number 18 of shaman king i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it whichever is your preference and let's get started all right so here's the countdown three two one go Oh boy. Yeah. Wait, he doesn't. Oh yeah, he he never met. <laughs> oh, she's also small. <laughs> Wait, she's happy with that? Anna's like, I was anticipating you. Uh. Hmm. Defeated my chicken. Oh. Okay, well. Hmm, yeah, this won't, uh, this won't be a peaceful conversation, I'm guessing. Huh. 
All right. Hmm. All right. Yeah, he obviously. Revenge. <laughs> Small. Oh, wait, what? Wasn't he saying that? Oh, he won't be able to even reach him, he says. Oh. Assist. Oh. Um, what? Okay. Huh. I approve. Oh yeah, boy. Yeah, the ex laws are there. Yeah. <laughs> Manta's like Oh boy, here we go Okay, stop being weird about that Oh! What the? Oh, that connected Ha! <laughs> God! Well, there you go. This is my mother. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, you. Yeah, what? <laughs> uh. Oh boy. What? Well, he's still not accustomed to Yo and his, the way he does stuff. Mm. Oh no, Lysarg is going to flip out, yeah. Hmm, but up until then, like, he won't have his... Okay. Oh, that's what, alright, okay. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, a lot of things happened. <laughs> what? Oh.
Okay. Calling me. Mm. <clears throat> Whoa, he's awake. Charity. Damn, he's huge. True road. Huh? Just the guardians. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, like, uh... all right. Oh, no. What the? Is he unconscious or? Okay, he's unconscious, I think. Okay. All oh, so reincarnates. It's Spirit ally. Oh. All right. Okay. Oh, wow. It's like underwater. Whoa. Oh, what the? Some kind of otherworldly experience. Oh, still. Yeah. Uh, what the? Fish and banana soup? Whoa! Yeah. Oh, wow. So, does everyone get this who come here? Oh, wow. It's like... Okay. Oh boy. All right. So what happened to the others? Hmm. The vision's very... Oh, okay. Boy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay, all of them are okay, I'm guessing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. He... <laughs> wow. 
What about the others? La what? Hopefully, or, or I don't know, like... Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> Dude. God. What happened to... Okay. Wait, he didn't even go... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> wow! Okay! Damn! Great. Well. Okay, he's... Ah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like fast food places, bar, <laughs> souvenir shop. <laughs> Ah. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> ah, he's not, he doesn't care. <laughs> ah, there she is. Ah. Oh. Three eighty dollars. Yeah. What the? What? <laughs> but it, it's kind of, I think. Yeah. Obviously. Okay, 380 might be a little bit too less, but. Alright. Yeah, boy. Here we go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is the other guy. In the opening. Um, your introduction, please. Ah! <laughs> okay, he... What the? <laughs> Parma, okay. Oh, wow, that was a bad part. Oh, three against three. Oh. Oh. No, but... Okay, Lysark is there, so, okay, three, okay. <laughs> what the? Okay, so is that really his name? <laughs> Chocolate. Interesting name. Oh no. Is it the uh, house minion? 
Yeah, there you go. Hmm. Okay, he's fine. Okay. Three forces. All right, hey. Puns. Okay, the translations are kind of weird here, the puns especially. Gandhar and oh, it slows is also another. God class shamans. Again, the puns. Guys. <laughs> Okay. But we are neither neither of in those we are neither of those teams. Okay. Oh. Mick. So, what? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Yeah, like, there you go, yeah. <laughs> okay. What? Oh. Oh, they're going to, okay. Okay, so one will be, like, with Ren and another is, one is with Yo. <laughs> oh my god oh no <laughs> well there you go they, they decided <laughs> wow <laughs> oh boy nah, that's that's not how team works but <laughs> yeah <laughs> what <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh. <laughs> Boy. Let's <laughs> give <a> commentary. Yo. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Wait, what? God. Wait, is that something about your dad? Wait, wait. Who is that? Oh! It's, um, what was his name? Faust. Whoa, he's he's looking. Condition is very bad. All right, okay. Uh, wait, one thing. I, what was? Just a sec. What did Manta say? Okay. Um. If Yokun's father wasn't here, what? Yokun's father? Uh, am I missing something? Did they introduce him before? Did I forget? Wait a minute. Who was Manta talking with? Just a sec, when he came here. Okay, here it is. Oh, whoa. Oh, wait a minute. He just a sec okay one thing here okay i actually went back and i'm checking that portion where manta is like saying that that day i saw something i shouldn't have and then there's this guy uh, the guy who always keeps an eye on uh yo on on the orders of the grandfather i, I forgot his name and he's being shown and then suddenly we switch back to um, Anna uh, and Tama. Uh, I forgot the girl's name. What was her name? Tamao? I think so. And Manta. Okay. And like here, Manta is saying stuff about like, you know, it's very, like, you know, like I never imagined this Shaman King becoming Shaman King is something like this. So. And then in the last scene, he says something like, uh, if Yoku's father wasn't here, I don't know what would have happened to me. So is, is that guy his fa Yo's father? The guy who keeps an eye on Yo? On, on the grandfather's, like, you know, the grandfather told him to keep an eye on them. And, uh, you know, the guy who always wears a mask. Like, it's kind of implying that. Like, like that's the last scene like, was, like, like, in such a, like, you know, casual way they inserted that. Like, I was like confused. I was like, what Yokun's father? Like, and I, I was thinking like, did they even, even introduce him? Am I forgetting it? Like they introduced him or something? Like the, the way they inter like, you know, casually slid in that uh, one section where Manta says that if Yokun's father wasn't here. And then like, you know, now I, I don't think they introduced him before. Like this is the first time they are like, you know, like saying stuff like Yokun's father. And I also listened to the, um, <coughs> the voice like where he says that here we go yokun no yokun no otosan so it's not a translation error either so manta really did say it's yokun, yokun's father so okay that was kind of i don't know like like surprising they suddenly introduced yo's father and they didn't introduce but they barely mentioned but i think it is that guy
you know, who always keeps an eye on you. It must be him. But yeah. Anyways, I'm sure we're getting, going to get our answers. Okay, so this episode here, um, the beginning we like you know meet how, and uh, <laughs> he's excited because like you know he wants you to become stronger so that he can assist him, and now. <laughs> I don't know, like, Yo, like, he seems very confident that Yo is going to actually help him. I doubt Yo is going to help him by the end of it because whatever, like, you know, ambition Hao has, the thing doesn't change that he is doing, like, you know, bad stuff to actually get to that ambition. Ambition, And I do not, you know, I do not think that Yo will ever allow that. You know, Yo is very straightforward and even though he is very, uh, what do you call it, like, you know, like usually accepts everything very forgiving and uh, what do you call it, like, mm. very chill all the time, he, he does not con condone, like, you know, doing this type of bad stuff and, ah, no, I don't think how, like, you know, he would ever, like, you know, go along with Hao's ambition. I doubt that. That's 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 not Yo. If 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 he really like you know goes along with Yo's uh, plans, I don't know. I I don't think that's ever going to happen. So yeah, or maybe, I, I I don't know. Maybe like you know how just said that for the sake of it. <laughs> he just wanted to make Anna mad or something. Something like that maybe. Uh, that's why he said something like that. And <laughs> and he said that you go and like you know make him strong. Otherwise, it'll be too easy. You know. And uh, boy, okay, that and then, <clears throat> yeah, and then we get to the next scene where they help uh, the guy, uh, House Minion. And Lyserk here now, I, I think I said this before, and like you know, again, like you know, Lyserk, he he is not accustomed to it now if you <coughs> if, it, if you remember all the characters that are here now with us for example ren uh ryu you know and horo horo and horo horo is kind of an exception to that but you know especially uh, ryu and um ren both of them were not very keen on like you know like join like in the beginning they they were not so good friends you know and when they met and they had like a, like you know like the fight with Ryu the whole thing like you know that happened there and Ryu like gradually kind of uh what do you call it got accustomed to uh Yo and Ren it was like a, it was a big process for Ren Ren it took quite a long while for actually Ren to actually like you know become friends with Yo and it took time so and i said like horo horo is an exception because horo horo is kind of different the way they met you know they basically met as like you know rivals in a way they fought kind of like you know understood each other and then they became friends so that's why i said like horo is, is an exception the the way they met was different so for like you know like we can see that it took a little bit of time for all these characters to actually warm up to you you know and but for here for Lyserk, he basically made them made them here so for him like he had like a one like you know his his mind was what can i say like had, had a different ambition he had an ambition of like you know getting revenge doing like you know like like that type of a he had a mindset like that and he was like ready to do anything even hurt his friends you know so <clears throat> suddenly for him to change on the drop of a hat it's kind of impossible so like we can obviously see that here in this episode as well he's kind of hesitating and he's really not accustomed to your space you know all these characters here are really accustomed to your space and they can like, you know, like they know what yo is going to basically say and how he's going to react to stuff lysak doesn't know any of that so he's confused he and, and at the same time he is also uh, very concerned about the fact that he is seeing these characters as he said like you know i'm concerned about the fact that if i will i also start to become like them you know will i also forget my actual uh, ambition and will i also convert to people like them like now how they are interacting with you will i also be become one of them so that thing is kind of scaring him because he he is not ready he is not ready to accept 
uh, that like you know like the whole thing that you know like the whole revenge thing that that still is in his mind and still burdening him so <clears throat> yeah it's, it's going to take a little bit of time and it would have been okay if they did not get split up after that you know like now he is somewhere else like you know after the whole like you know they go to go to the greatest the, the greatest spirit they give the bless give the blessing to him and he he's not here anymore so, <clears throat> so he's somewhere else now if if they like in, if in the next episode they meet up again i think it will be all fine because as i said like you know like i think i mentioned this in the previous episode as well like as long as yo is with him he won't like you know he won't uh, go towards the wrong path he won't do that but the thing that's concerning me is as soon as they split up and if he goes somewhere else on his own he might start walking the wrong path again and that's one thing that is concerning here and at this moment he is not with you so if within the next one or two episodes they meet up again it'll be all well and good but i'm kind of concerned if that does not happen and he really is kind of isolated so yeah i don't know like lyserk is kind of uh concerning me in the in this way because it's, it's fe like i'm feeling like he might mis like you know in a mistake he might take some wrong step so i don't know let's wait for it let's see what happens mm, yeah okay and then the um, guy the house minion tells them about the whole thing you know the greater spirits like, you know the, the actual objective of this <coughs> trial <coughs> um yo gets to the greater spirit gives him a blessing and he so he gets to know about all the memories of the earth i think like you know silver said something like that and the stress of that usually make people unconscious uh, and uh, some people even might not be able to get back from that so it's kind of like a life and death uh, trial, like you can die. I'm guessing in this test, in this trial that happened here, I'm sure a lot of people died in this process. I think so. So thankfully, like, you know, they were all well and good. And Ren was like, yeah, Ren didn't even care. Ren was like, yeah, I want that. <laughs> Boy, so like that really gives, like shows his, uh, what do you call it? His conviction yeah the strength of his conviction and that really shows that he is really perfect for being a shaman because shaman like you know they, they are <clears throat> like uh, what do you call it dependent on their determination their convictions so like you know ren not falling unconscious at that moment really shows that he's very strong and uh, yeah <clears throat> all right and then like you know uh, they are waiting for the time so that the next part can start the next part of the uh, tournament or whatever not test can start and uh, anna comes in and uh, <clears throat> yeah she tells them to like you know become stronger tells uh you have to become stronger and we get the final character who is i think he's supposed to join us um uh, what was his name chocolate wasn't it yeah chocolate so we meet him and he's an interesting character first of all because of his puns and i think a lot like you know i think one or two of the sections where he was <laughs> like showing his natural talent of cracking puns uh, a few of them was kind of wrongly translated in this and i know like it's pretty difficult to actually translate like you know japanese puns into english kind of really difficult it is uh, you know like so um, I think in the, that section was kind of wrong where they, uh, what was that section? Okay. One of the puns, I think they, they did a mistranslation or a wrong translation where like, I think it's like Fuku or something like that. Like, you know, there's like wearing uniforms. Where, where was that part? I cannot find it now. Like the first one <laughs> was the whole thing with uh, his perm. Like, you know, but what, what did he say? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Oh yeah, here it is. He says tournament. <laughs> and this is permanent. <laughs> oh boy, what the heck? God. <laughs> These puns. Oh lord. <clears throat> 
and then <coughs> it says that he wants um <coughs> teammates and that's why he's like you know trying to join with them and okay here he says that there are two other like you know three main teams one is obviously how the other is the x loss and the other other one is just a sec uh what was that he said oh okay here's the pun <laughs> i found that pun he says that there are three forces and then he says uh yo says the three forces he says that mitsu no seiyoku i think that's what he said yeah and he says that isumo <laughs> what seifuku yeah and seifuku means i think uh, uniform and that's why he was wearing a uniform you know so <laughs> and the translation was three horses i'm not sure what the translation is meant but it, I think it, it, it could have been better if they said three uniforms or something like that. I think that's basically it. That was a pun, basically. I might be wrong, like, you know, like, as far as my knowledge goes of Japanese. So, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> okay, and then the main part. Okay, he says one is house team. The other two were uh, to oppose house team. One is Gandhara and the other is X laws <coughs> Okay, now I'm guessing the team that you know the Gandhara team. I'm guessing that's somehow related to Bo Buddhism, most probably. I think so. And obviously we know the X laws who they are. So yeah, so these are like the main three big forces. So like X laws and a no go. Obviously they are taking the j j laws in their hand. So I'm not sure about the Gandhara how they will be. Hopefully they are actually friendly but even though like you know obviously there's a, there's a tournament they are we all are enemies but still like you know like you know friendly in nature i i like you know that's what i want hopefully that happens i don't know i might be like you know i might be wrong <clears throat> okay and then they like you know make up the team like you know ren says that yeah i'm going to fight like you know in a different team than yo because you know he really wants to see who is stronger or stuff like that and uh yeah so the team is ren mm, ren uh horo horo and chocolate and since <laughs> ryu really wants lyserk in his team <laughs> ryu lyserk and um yo so yeah that was that <clears throat> and uh yeah that was it and then in the last scene we obviously did that whole scene of like you know manta saying that yo's dad if yo's dad was not here and they show the guy who's actually keeping an eye on yo you know on the grandfather's like you know uh suggestion like we kind of saw him before so i'm guessing that's yo's dad i might be wrong you know it might be someone completely different who knows but yeah like so yo's dad is here that means interesting like there's suddenly like mentioned that so easily like i i was even able to like properly process that and uh yeah and then oh and then the next last scene we see manta actually meeting Foss. and here's another thing Foss is in a wheelchair and i think someone told this to me in one of the comments that after like you know like uh what was her, his spirit's name i forgot uh his wife uh you know i forgot her name who is her, his spirit now his spirit now uh th this uh, that lady you know like uh her leg i think it somehow got some like you know fractured or something and that's why i think uh, like you know someone mentioned the comments that um, he took a bone from his leg and transplanted it and that's why he is in wheelchair now like that really shows how much like you know like you know how much she loves her wife uh, his wife so yeah all right so that was it so that was this episode guys so this is episode number 18 of shaman king so if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out
So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next week with another episode of Shaman King. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.